oh we're live <laughs> i'm here daydreaming i'm seeing that little buffer thing whatever it is to say i'm going like okay guys um welcome 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 dr wendy dearborn here from the laws of attraction in action that's the laws of attraction.com and the laws of attraction in action right here on facebook the group well I, I don't know who came up with this saying, but I do know that it's, it's really true. No one person is bigger than the sum total of any relationship. When a relationship starts going wrong is when one or other believes that they are bigger than the sum total. And what do I mean by this? That your needs should supersede and precede anything that's going on within the relationship. And that's not how it works. That's not how that lady says on the advert. That's not how any of that works. That's not how any of this works. So in a relationship, in a relationship, it's about creating the balance. And balance, people, people may have this idea that balance is always something that's, you know, it's, it's equal, it's steady. No, it's always moving slightly. It's always moving slightly, just like the earth is always moving slightly, just actually like the muscles within your body are always moving slightly, or you might not feel that way, but it's always, they're always moving slightly so that they can assist and support the lymphatic system in doing what it needs to do. There's a bit of trivia for you. But that being said, no one person is bigger than the sum total of the relationship. And when somebody believes that their needs, as I've just said, is bigger and um, is bigger than or is more important than anything else, what happens is that it becomes a huge imbalance. And when that imbalance occurs, sometimes you can bring it back into order and other times it just destroys the relationship. Now, this can be a relationship, you know, a, a familial relationship with your family. It can be, um, you know, your friends, your BFFs, what have you. Um, it can be an intimate relationship, you know. It can be, you know, your spouse, significant other. Or it can be, you know, like your working relationships. You see, guys, when you feel that your need is all-consuming to the detriment of someone else, or in spite or despite somebody else, you have created an imbalance. You know, when you look at some of the, the groups, uh, singing groups that have been around, and also the, uh, what do you call them, the comedic acts that have been around for a long, long time. When you look at the temptations and people like the Four Tops, um, and that's what actually springs to mind, um, temptations, Four Tops, when you look at the uh, two Ronnies, even um, Abbott and Costello, uh, Bob Hope and Bing Crosby, when you, when you look at these, these partnerships, because if you're in a relationship, whether you're married or you're working or what have you, whatever relationship that you've created, it's a partnership. It's a partnership. And let me just say this before I go on to say what I was gonna say about the different groups and the, the comedians that I was speaking about. It's a partnership. And just because somebody is at the helm of the partnership, that's the role that they fit into. That's the role that they do well. Not everybody is a leader. Not everybody is a born leader. You know, there are people who their claim to fame is the fact that they can be behind the scenes. Or their claim to fame is that they can be the wind that is beneath your wings that is assisting you and supporting you in excelling. What, well, Miss Coretta? Um, uh, and supporting you in, in flowing, in moving. So I just wanted to make that point, you know, just wanted to make that point clear. Because a lot of people will actually think, you know, if you, if you have, um, uh, uh, say, a, a, a relationship, Somebody needs to be in charge. No, what everybody needs to know is what they are good at. This is why for my clients, I'm always telling them, you know, you need to do a personal SWOT. What's your, what's your strength? What's your perceived weaknesses? What do you feel that you bring to the relationship that's an opportunity? And what can you bring to a relationship that's a threat that can undermine it? And when you kind of know these things about yourself, you can come into a relationship 
and you will understand that you are a part of the sum total. So where I was going to go with the, the groups I was talking about, you know, like um, the, the temptations, uh, the four tops, uh, I think the whispers are another one. These are all groups from my from my um, big hugs, big ups to you too, baby. Um, from my back in the day, um, Ronnie Corbett, the, the the two Ronnies. You have to be British, I think, to to appreciate the two Ronnies. As I said, Bing Crosby, Bob Hope. Now, in these groups, I'm going to tell you something. When they get out on stage and they're doing whatever they're doing, they understand that neither one of them are bigger than the sum total. Neither one of them are bigger than the sum total. And they understand this, even though they might not like each other. If I remember correctly, somewhere I heard, you know, on the Hollywood grapevine, and I could be wrong, but anyway, I'll phrase it this way. You have to like each other. You don't have to like each other to understand your role in the sum total of what it is that you're doing. You know, there are many groups out there that once they get off stage, and I do know this, once they get off stage, they don't talk to each other. They don't spend Christmas together. They don't do the birthday thing. They don't even tell each other happy birthday. They'll go to rehearsal and they understand their role in the process. And this is true. There are groups that are like that. When you have groups where people feel um, I don't know, like uh, musically, I'll use music, they, or artistically, they feel that they want to do something else and the, 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 the rest of the group, the other four members or five members or what have you, they don't agree. Now you have an issue. Now you have an issue where one or the others or some or the others don't understand that the group is the sum total of the group is more important than the individual. Now, let me back this up by saying, one of the things I love about, say, the four, te the four tops and temptations, etc., etc., is that they've understood this. And they understand that people have their own creativity that they want to bring forth. And as a result, the OJs is another one, as a result, have allowed that to come through. Okay, so you wanna sing lead for a while? Go ahead on. Oh, you want to do more of the writing? Go ahead on. It's all about the check and the balance. And as I said before, no one person is bigger than the sum total of a relationship. Whatever you are wanting is important. Whatever they are wanting is important. What people perhaps need to do is come together to see what it looks like to allow that to manifest. What does it look like to be within the relationship and allow it to evolve into something beautiful? What does it look like? So guys, once again, to, as, a, as a takeaway, within your current relationship, do you feel that your needs supersede that of the people you work with, um, you know, your, your significant other, your spouse, your, your, your family, your friends, what have you. Do you feel that your need supersedes their needs or supersedes the entire relationship? See, I'm a firm believer that um, relationships are something that require a lot of work. Um, your relationships are something that, are, that truly is ongoing because you're always growing, you're always evolving. I'm a true believer that within a like the relationship with my husband and myself, one car, the relationship between my husband and myself, I am and he is an individual. And we bring those individual qualities, as I mentioned before, the SWAT, your strengths, your personal strengths, your what you perceive as a weakness, your opportunities and things that are threats that can undermine the relationship. I know what mine are. He knows what his are. And as a result of that, we are able to balance each other out. And when I say balance each other out, I'm talking about bringing harmony to the relationship. It allows you to know who you are. So once again, no one person is bigger than the sum 
total of the relationship. And we're in relationship with everything. And this goes straight across the board. I don't care whether it's politics. I don't care whether it's a relationship. I don't care whether it's it's within a religious um, capacity or spiritual capacity. What you want is equally as important within a relationship as what somebody else wants. The key to success is being able to marry those two together. That is the ultimate key. What does it look like for me to have what I want and for him, her, or them, whoever, to have what they want, where we can intertwine it or interweave it so it makes a beautiful tapestry and a tapestry that we can both live with. That's the name of the game. That's the name of the game. You want to find peace within any relationship that you have. You need to recognize that what you want is absolutely phenomenal and you should want what you want. What you don't do is try to impose that onto somebody else. What you don't do is try to negate or, or um, minimize or diminish what somebody else wants. And in the same vein, you shouldn't allow that to happen to you. You shouldn't diminish self at, the, at the, the, the expense of maintaining a relationship because then you live in a lie. And that lie, then you live in a lie. And that lie is something that will um, follow you throughout your life. And when I say follow you throughout your life, what I mean is every decision, every choice you make, every job you take, every the, the food that you eat, the thoughts that you think, the, 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 the parties that you go to and dance to, everything, that lie will touch every facet of your life. Being truthful is truly a challenging thing, especially if you, if you are wanting to be in a relationship. Being truthful can be a challenging thing because you see, when you're truthful, you might not actually get what you want. Because your truth, again, isn't somebody else's truth. So you might not get what you want. But by being truthful, you give yourself permission to then receive universally from God, whomever your chosen deity is, that which you say that you want. And it also allows people around you to be truthful. So that's what I just wanted to share with you guys today. No great shakes, uh, no one person is the, the sum total of all things. When people become the sum total, I always kind of think of um, uh, singers like um, Diana Ross, and I actually also think of, um, oh, I can't remember the name of the group, it's gone out of my head. Um, uh, lots of them, lots of them have been like that. And the, re the, the group has gro broken down. That being said, let me just put an FYI out there. When it's time to move on, it's time to move on. And sometimes that's, what's, that's what happens. Sometimes that needs to happen. Sometimes that breakdown has to happen. But if it's not time to move on and it's not what you're truly wanting, again, you are not the sum total of the relationship. If you're in a relationship with somebody, it has to be balanced. You have to strive for balance. So guys, what, what I'm gonna leave you with, funny enough, I was um, doing a, uh, working with a client today, so I was doing some coaching this morning. And he said to me, you know, he heard this phrase, worrying is praying is, yeah, worrying is praying for something that you don't want. And that just hit me. I just love that. I was like, oh, I love that. Worrying when you're worrying, worrying is praying for something that you don't want. And for those of you who know me, I'm all about spending your time wisely. We have 1,440 minutes in a day. Why spend it? worrying why spend it and worry when you worry you're affirming you're using the power of your spoken word whether you speak it out loud audibly or you speak it within your mind so why spend 1440 days as uh, 40 40 minutes worrying and praying praying asking for something that you don't want so guys use your time wisely and remember that you are not the sum total of your entire relationship. You are a part of it and an integral part of it. Know what it is that you want for self. 
do the personal swap i think you could uh, don't quote me i think you can find that on um the laws of attraction in action.com i think you can find the pdf download for that i will check that and if it's not by the end of the day i will put it up there and take your personal swap know what your strengths are know what your perceived weaknesses are and i say in in quotes perceived weaknesses um they're just that that it's a perception um, and a weakness is something that you can always use as a strength, which is why I say perceived weakness. Know what, what opportunities you bring to yourself in life. And again, know what, what you undermine, how you can undermine yourself. What is a threat to you? My, my personal as a threat would be in, in a personal swap. Um, I got a hair trigger temper. I, I, I don't think a lot of people actually know that. I really have it in check, but I got a hair trigger temper and I can go from zero to a hundred like that. And I recognize that this has the ability to undermine many things that I do. So I have found ways to, um, or coping mechanisms in addition to getting older, you know, it kind of changes, but I find, I found coping mechanisms to assist and support me. So I don't go from zero to a hundred. I go from zero to 60. That's good. I'll go from zero to 60. So anyway, guys, that's what I wanted to share with you today. Have a wonderful Memorial Day weekend, wherever you are. I don't know if all countries in the world are, are, are um, celebrating this, but have a wonderful Memorial um, Day weekend. Until next time, Carl, Coretta, uh, big up, sister. Carl, love you. Tracy, love you. And to everybody else who's listened today, hugs, peace. Find me at thelawsofattractioninaction.com. And same said group, Laws of Attraction in Action on Facebook. Until next time, guys. Bye. Peace. Bye.